Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch Arrow, welcome to Upper Mississippi, a river, a valley. We're in McGregor. Actually, I don't think this is McGregor. We're on the uh, the Wisconsin side of the Mississippi River in town here. Look at this. Pretty cool. Uh, we were setting up our farm the other day here on our live stream. And you know what? I thought I'd come back and do a little more work. We gotta get stuff cleaned up in here. And it sounds like my boots are full of water down in here. It totally sounds like we're full of water. Oh, bad. So, yeah, we've got some work to do uh, to get this farm set up. So we've got a pretty small farm. If you were with us during the live stream, you might have seen what we're talking about there. We've got a small farm up at the top. We'll take a look at it around that. I'll show you the equipment we've got set up there. We just kind of set up, got a little bit done as far as planting goes. We're just getting started there. Decisions need to be made still in the farm on exactly what we're going to be going with. Oh man, some town in here. Very nice. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing for for uh, our farm yet. We've got some idea of a plan, but man, you know what? We need to really come up. Where is the... Oh, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. I think it's this way. Then we go wrap around. Um, we come, need to come up with some kind of an idea on exactly what our farm is going to be, what we're going to be putting on our farm. We haven't decided yet. We really need to look at this and uh, come up with a plan, plan of action. I've got some ideas, but really in the grand scheme of things, um, soybeans, what can, what can make us some money? That's really what our plan of action is so far, is, uh, is can we get some soybeans in the ground? <laughs> uh, that's it so far. Anyways, we're going to drive on up this hill, get up to the farm, let me show you around, and uh, we'll figure out if we can do a little bit of planting today. So my plan is do this thing. Better batter. All right, just getting up to the top of the hill here. We just left town down below. Yes, looks it's so nice to be able to come up all the way from the bottom, all the way up to the top here. There's such a big difference between uh, the two areas in this county, I tell you. All right, here's our road down to our farm. Hard right. And then all the way down to the end, basically, uh, is where our farm is. That, I think you can see us at the end there. I think that's us. Look at the haze we got rolling in here. One o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, and just the haze is rolling in. Man. So we've got two kind of sections on our farm. Oh, that's not us at all. <laughs> I wish it was us. Look at that. That's a nice looking farm right there. That is a great looking farm, folks. Look at that. Um, roll a stop sign. <laughs> Best driver in farm sim. Um, we've got two sections on our farm. One is uh, where we put the temporary farm. There's a temporary farmhouse there. And uh, the other section, we haven't really decided what we're going to do with that yet. I mean, we're going to be building on it, of course. But it's just kind of set up for now. Oh, nothing coming, nothing coming. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. So we need to figure out exactly what we're going to be building on this farm. I haven't really decided yet, guys. We've got, I've got like some ideas. We've got some nice fertile farmland, and that's uh, kind of a plus, of course. And of course, I realized I missed my turn. Um, I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it's down this way instead. We've got to take these quite tiny corners or the windy corners here. I know that really. I know where I'm going. Honestly, I do. I don't have a clue. I really don't. Oh, man. Uh, there we go. Actually, that is our farm right there, you can see. So, we do own some of the fields here on our left. We have some bigger fields over on our right. This is going to be, well, our neck of the woods. This is what we got. It looks pretty good down in here. Now, we do have some fields planted. We have some that aren't. It's going to be a bit of a work in progress. Uh, let me show you quickly what we have up on the right here. We have the right-hand side. Uh, just past the gate is kind of one of the smaller farms. We own the property up here. It's been all paved, ready to go, like a storage shed area right now. And my plan is to put the house and everything up here eventually. There we go. Looks good. It's a nice plot of land up here, kind of overlooking. Oh man, look at that. Nice long views out here. Looks good. Now, this is where, like I said, we're going to put the house and stuff up here. We're going to probably knock some stuff down. Maybe we'll put it up on the bluff even. Let's see. But this is my plan for over here. This is going to be the personal side. The farm side is going to be at the back, and that's where the current house is. And it's kind of alongside our grain silos and everything else, which is not going to last forever. Oh, man. All right, all the way through. We've got one of our tractors hooked up. We've got a Kloss is our big tractor. Oh, man. You know what? It's our newest tractor as well. The rest of the equipment we've got have kind of gone a bit old school, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. We've gone, that's definitely the newest piece of equipment. We put the Bronco in the house here, and uh, we'll go for a little walkabout. 
So very minimal for the farm so far. We're starting pretty uh, pretty low key here, guys. We don't have a lot of a lot of stuff to do. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff out on this farm. We have some storage buildings. We got our silos, and that's really it. We got seed, we got fertilizer, and we have lime. Uh, the rest, you know what? We'll have to see. So as for the tractors, well, who would have saw the Kloss the 870? Nice tractor. This is our biggest tractor. I think we're running about 280 horsepower on this one. And then, of course, we have the Great Plains Cedar as well. We scroll on back. We've got uh, an older cultivator as well as another Great Plains planter back there as well. So we'll be using those two, of course, for planting. Um, as far as other equipment goes, guys, well, it's a lot of old equipment. We have the old International Tractor in there. I don't know how much use it's going to get. We'll see if it can handle the Weba. Hope we can handle that 6M. And then over on the far side, we have, well, <laughs> this old Alice Chalmers. Just another old tractor on the farm. Yeah, we'll see how much use we get out of this. Might be good for just moving some stuff around. And then, of course, uh, what do we got? Oh, here. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> I almost forgot. I almost forgot this 3588 International Articulated Tractor, along with this old Burns uh, or Bruns uh, fertilizer spreader. Now, this, yeah, it's a mid-range size tractor, decent horsepower, but it's just a bit of a beast to drive. <laughs> we'll see how that works out for us. Oh, yes. And then lastly, the behemoth behind us. Ultra-wide track boss or case uh, harvester. Uh, what's the model number on this one? The 9250 with the ultra-wides. <laughs> uh, we were running into a bit of a problem with this uh, during our stream, so we'll see how she runs now. We see, think we fixed things up, but she has got some serious mutters on her. Look at the tires on this bad boy. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this works out. It should be good. We're not going to need to worry about that for quite some time. Uh, we got to head her back somewhere over there. But this is the field we got planted. This is all canola. This here field. This kind of wraps around. It's kind of like a, I wouldn't even say a kidney shape, to be honest. More of a horseshoe that wraps down and around the far side of the farm. Now, we do have another field that's down below. We'll head down that way today as well, do some planting. All right, we got our claws fired up. We've got the Great Plains once again. Uh, we've got a field I want to plant. So we did canola. No, canola. Sorry. We did uh, soybeans down the hill here. It's kind of an odd shaped field. Oh, you can't even see it. The trees are there. We'll show it to you when we get down below. It's a bit of an odd shaped field. And uh, so we did our canola down. I keep on saying canola. It's soybeans. I want to plant canola, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to stay with soybeans down in this neck of the woods. Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe we should do canola. I don't know yet so rough in here it's so rough down this hill oh man all right so the, the field on the right is the one we did the field on the left we do not own uh that is not our is that one's not ours that's I, oh god i can't remember anymore I'm trying to stay off it but i think the field i want to do is around the back side over here so if we scroll all the way around oh no that is ours okay so this is it right here so this one is the field I want to get into. It has this little section that we've just been kind of driving past. And it, it kind of goes in behind here for a bit. It's not a huge field by any means. But uh, you know what? We're starting small. We've got to start somewhere. So we've got soybeans. I'm going to do soybeans here again. I was thinking about doing canola. That's why I got canola on the brain. But uh, I think we're going to stay with soybean or canola on this one. Or soybeans. See, I can't get it out of my mind today. Uh, bad. We'll do some more canola, soybeans. See, what is wrong with me? We'll get some more soybeans in here. So we keep at least all the same product. I don't want to be harvesting and having to deal with two different types of product. That is just kind of annoying when you're trying to connect and all of a sudden, I mean, especially when you're dealing with smaller fields like this. Um, there's no fun in that. There's zero fun in that, having to take everything back and empty it out when you're just like so close to each other. Like, what's the point? So we'll do, uh, we'll do soybeans in here as well. Since it's, you know what, we checked the prices. Prices for soybeans out here are pretty darn good by comparison to anything else. So we'll uh, we'll definitely stick with that. There you go, looks good. I like it. Colossus has been a pretty good tractor so far. We did have to bump the horsepower up on this. We started off with a lower horsepower model and uh, trying to tow this Great Plains. I th think the Great Plains recommends 250 horsepower. So we didn't have enough. We had to bump this bad boy up just a tooch. Had to get her up to, I think it's 385 or 285, I should say. So it took a little bit more, and now she's running pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with the way we've got it set up. Oh, man. Now, I know we can extend this field just a touch with this planter. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of some of the uh, the shrubbery, that the overgrowth portion of the field. Yeah, that looks fantastic. 
Nice. All right, looking good, looking good. Back around, get this headland all wrapped up. Now we got a lot of odd shaped fields. You can see we've got this one here is obviously a bit of an odd one. The one we did uh, last time was up on the, well, it's on the crest of the hill you're looking at it right now. That's obviously a little bit of a strange shaped field as well. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, guys. I think we'll see how that turns out. Most of the fields up here are a little bit strange shaped. There's a couple that kind of follow um, a lot of the irrigation canals, a lot of the tree stands kind of look off here just down the valley. And you can see how these fields are all just following, flowing with the land, right? So that's, that's really what we're going to be dealing with on this farm are these smaller fields that uh, are just going to have to flow around us, especially anything near our farm. If we go a little bit further to, I believe, the north, then things start to open up a little bit more. But anything close to us, for the most part, is going to be like this. Which isn't the end of the world by any means. It's just a little bit more work, of course. Like, look at these bench lands you can see in here. We've got benches with fields all around us. Now, none of these are ours, so if we do decide we want to get those, well, that'll be our choice. That field there looks not bad. It's a fairly good-sized field. Yeah, that's not bad down there. Not bad. Look at this. But I can see why. Oh, like there's a, that's a pretty steep drop. You really don't want to be going down there with a tractor or any implements. Like, that is a, that's a bad news spot to go. <laughs> cool. All right, so we'll get all the way down to the end here. Spin her back around and head back. Oh, man, see, I thought about maybe trying to find a way to join these fields. I don't know. That hill looks pretty steep. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that be worthwhile to try to join? Or is that just going to cause me grief? I don't know if a harvester is really going to do much good on that kind of a hill. I'd have to smooth everything else out. Uh, we'd have to really move a lot of dirt around in order to get that to work. And for what you're going to gain out of it, it's next to nothing. So I just can't see it being worthwhile. Oh, man. There we go. We're back to the back side of our farm here on the field that I didn't think was mine, but it actually is. Perfect. Raise this bad boy up. Spin her around. And come on. Off that bump. Oh, man. Excellent. And then back on. Here we go. Looks good. I think we can get most of this done. Yeah, it's all done down here now. We just got to go back down the far side, guys. Um, yeah, not, not a huge field by any means. Like I said, I think we have five fields in total. We've got two of the smallest ones done. We still have some other ones up on the far side. And then the big, big, big fields, which aren't even that big in the grand scheme of things, but compared to what we have, they are, I guess. Um, they're on the far side of the road, so we have to kind of head away from our farm to go get those. So some things we're still missing. We need to talk about that as well. We're still missing some equipment, so we need to figure out exactly what we're going to get there. I've got a couple of things on my list still, of course. And that looks like her already. That was quick. Literally, like 15 minutes to plant this field. Not bad. Uh, all right. So, like I said, we need to talk about equipment we still are going to need on this farm. We're going to need a few things, of course. Now, I think we've got everything we need. Oh, man. Look at this. Lift up. Nice. The wheels were dragging down there. Didn't want to pull. Um, I think we've got everything we need. Oh, I did really? Clutch? Come on. Finish this section off right here. How did I miss this? My bad. Drop this back down. That's an easy fix, though. Go, go, go. Um, we've got everything we need for planting and seeding, as far as I could think. I don't want to go too crazy. This is big enough for what we have right now. The Great Plains is actually a pretty good planter. It's a little on the heavy side, mind you, but uh, it's doing a pretty good job. I don't mind this. It's, it's a decent size. Good enough for what we have. Now, We've got something for cultivating. We've got something to plow with. What we don't have, we have fertilizer, but it's only the pellet fertilizer uh, that we have use for right now. I don't have anything that could spray liquid fertilizer or pesticides or anything like that right now. That's something that we do need to look at, trying to uh, get our greedy little hands on at some point. As well, I've got no way of trucking anything yet. I don't have any bins. i got none of that stuff. So that's something that uh, we're going to need to look at. Probably start something with small. Just a very straightforward bin system. I think uh, that will be the starting of it. I finally got this done now. Did I, did I do it right this time? I think I did. Let's close this on up. Oh, man. I do like the cloths. We haven't had a chance to use a cloth in a long time. Nice looking tractor. Perfect. Excellent. So, we'll head back up to the top. Uh, we do have a couple other fields, like I said, that we could look into potentially getting in our hands into today. I think there's one just across the road that I wouldn't mind diving into. And we might as well stick with soybeans. To be perfectly honest, soybeans pay the best. It's the easiest crop to pull off. Lowest yield, so less work in the grand scheme of things. I think we're going to stick with that, guys, just to get us started here. Get up this hill. Come on, baby. 
get up there. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll pull in, go across the way, start doing that. I think it's that one right there, to be honest with you. Just walking across the road from our farm. You can see it's right there. This is the field. Yeah, this one here is ours. Now, once again, not a massive field. All the fields up by our farm are fairly postage stamp in size. You can see it's it's barely here. Uh, once again, I think we'll stick with soybeans. We're not going to get a lot of yield off this, to be perfectly honest. I don't even know if I'd fill up full harvester with like two of these fields. Now, the other neat thing, though, we own all this land down through the woods here. There's some nice land down in here. I mean, I could knock these trees down potentially and uh, put something up if I really, really wanted to. And then look at this. Look at this down here. We own all this grass space down through this valley, this kind of, I don't know if we're going to call it a coulee, but it's kind of a, an open field tree line area. All the way down, we own all this. So hay is definitely a possibility. I could be cutting this all up. Look at all this grass, it's a little bit different. Uh, yeah, we could definitely cut this up. It's a little steep up here. Turn this into a field. It would, I think we could handle it, though. I mean, we could always turn this into a field as well and start harvesting stuff in here. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not yet. We still have a couple fields across the way to deal with, and that might be better off if we just left that alone and just did grass on this. Don't know yet. I haven't decided. But that being said, we do not have any way of cutting grass yet either. So that's something we have to think about. But mostly I'm worried about truck, a decent semi, uh, we'll need some kind of a bin and then uh, a trailer for that truck as well. So those are three main things right there. You do need to decide if I want to go with some kind of an auger wagon or anything like that. So you pull off the crops. Come on. Let's forget to do that. As soon as it drops down, those wheels just dig into the ground. Yeah, I need to decide if I want to, if I want to grab some kind of a gravity wagon or what we're exactly we're going to do to transfer our crops from the field into the semi-trucks. Uh, we've got some options there, of course. Drop that down, and away we go. Another small field here. Like I said, nothing too big. Now, look at straight ahead. Those are some of the fields we own on. It's, I don't think it's the one right in the corner on the right. I think you have to go in behind. I think there's two fields in behind that that we own. Uh, the one in front of us, we decided not to buy that one, and we bought two separate ones behind it because it was cheaper, and it was just cheaper. <laughs> it was simply just cheaper. That was the main reasoning behind it in the grand scheme of things. Oh man, watch out for the gates here. Watch, watch out for these gates. Get her nice and tight up against it. And, oh, stop, back it up. You know what, I'm gonna do a headland right here just so I can uh, get around this gate a little bit easier. Nice, there we go. Drop this down and we'll go straight up this roadway. Yeah, so we need to decide exactly what we're gonna do up here as well. Like I said, I wanna put the house up on this, this kind of plateau. I think this is a nice spot for it. And then you also have kind of a, a overlook of the farm plus the uh, the whole county, which is looking really quite nice. We'll see how that turns out. And then back there, the main farm. Uh, it's an interesting uh, interesting plot of land for a farm. I, I like it up here. These little fields, I could live with a little bit bigger fields. But you know what? It's okay. We'll start with small. We can build big and uh, go from there. Last pass in the field and... Yeah, guys, this is uh, looking good. It's so quick, these little fields. I'm amazed at how fast we're plowing, flying through this. It just uh, takes no time at all, even with a relatively small planter. Um, yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a change. There we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, yep. Perfect. I think we could get most, but I might have missed, missed it. Just a tooch back there. Just a tooch a little bit. We'll have to go back and maybe do that. But other than that, I mean, it's all of about 100 feet back and forth. And uh, this field is now planted with soybeans. Looks good to me. Look at that. Nice lay of the land on the farm here. Yeah, this is a nice area. I'm uh, excited to give this a try for a bit. We'll play. Uh, we'll see how this works out. See how this all works out here. Perfect. Close this all up. Wrap her up again. And go put this away for the day. You can see we've got some more planting to do at some point. Whoa, don't do that. But uh, everything else out here on uh, on the valley is looking really good. Ah, uh, very nice. So I might be doing that on a live stream at some point. We'll see how this all turns out. But we got uh, some of the fields done and prepped, at least for us. The rest will happen to happen, have to happen a little later on. So that's going to do us for us today here. I hope you guys enjoyed our quick video here on our live stream map the next little bit. If you did, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and hopefully I will catch you guys next time from Upper Mississippi River Valley. This is Clutch. Over and out.